Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another plan with me in my Aura Estelle Cloud using my Caress Press inserts. If you are new here, my name is Mia and I make planner related content on my channel. Today I'm going to be using this really, really kind of um, different take on a fall spread by Cayman Prince Co. This kit is absolutely gorgeous. If you guys did not know, I am a PR member of this shop. You can use code MIA15 for 15% off. And yeah, I really, really like how this spread turned out. I did try to pair it with um, hollow and silver foil. I ended up using these overlays from Caress Press. I did forget to put them on my glitter headers. Um, I completely forgot because I actually filmed these on completely separate days, which you will see my sleeves change as well as my nail polish change. I don't know if that annoys some people, but like I can't, I really cannot plan one week in like one go just because I don't know why it seems so far out to be planning for Sunday on like Monday. <laughs> I don't know. I'm like mumbling right now because I to be honest, I am a little bit upset, so I'm sorry if this plan with me does have like a like negative vibe. I really am trying to like stay upbeat, but I just got my first rejection from one of the schools I am applying to for dental school, and you know, I I was expecting it. Like I wasn't not like I wasn't expecting to get into every school I applied to, but the fact that I heard a rejection before I got invited for an interview is just a little discouraging, but you know what? I love how the spread turned out, so I guess that's not big of a deal. I mean, it is, but I'll survive. <laughs> um, anyway, I am just doing the layout of this spread. I put down some bottom washi, and now I'm putting on the date covers. Um, Kate and Prince Girl has a very bullet journal aesthetic to her stickers, so a lot of the stickers probably would have worked in a bullet journal as well. I actually did not see the date covers when I was looking through the kit. For some reason, I don't know, I was blind for like two seconds, so I just wrote in the dates myself, and I used my Muji 0.5 retractable pen. Right now, I'm just putting this silver washi overlay from caress press and i really do like the touch of foil that i added to this kit i didn't like fully bougie it up but i did like you know add a hint here and there and i really like how that turned out it was just like simple and fresh and it was a, a different take on like a fall spread i don't know if i mentioned this but this kit is called cinnamon clad or cinnamon played i don't know how you guys say it I don't know how I say it. I say it different every time. I don't know why, but anyway, I started off my sidebar with this full box fashion girl and then a this week header from the kit as well as like a quarter box label and a weekly schedule and I just used this to track my anxiety. I also did use three habit trackers, I believe, this week. Um, I used a glitter header to like make a division and I believe the first habit tracker I used was to mark my DAT prep. The second one was to mark making sure I get my skincare done because my skin has not been happy with me lately. And then the third one I believe is just for waking up early. I put down a heart like a, a from Clever Gal Crafts and I just used that to write a grateful moment or a happy moment or I don't know something that just made me happy this week and yeah, I started off with putting the glitter headers on the top of the days and just, you know, putting the full boxes, staggering them kind of based on my schedule. For example, Mondays are usually not that busy in the morning just because my classes don't start until like 2 p.m. And then on Tuesday, my earliest class is like 8.30, so I do get a head start of the day and by the end of the night, I'm usually either like continuing like my DAT prep or like chilling and watching a movie, nothing too exciting. Um, if anything does happen that is like unexpected, I usually put that in my memory plans and I have been memory planning in my A5TM from Wonton in a Million. 
Um, before that, I used to have an A5 tan from Creative Tidbits. But yeah, right now I am just starting on with my sidebar and I'm just using this emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to like mark my anxiety. And then to mark my DAT prep, I'm using this pencil sticker from the Honey Bee Shop. And then I'm using this Shocked Maru the Marshmallow from Paper and Milk because that is my face. Or I feel like that's my skin's face. Like if my skin... Wait, I don't know if that makes sense. Like, if my skin <laughs> was, like, could express how it felt towards me, I feel like it would be that face. Does that make sense? I don't know. But um, I then used an Up Early script sticker from Cayman Prince Co. Um, and a coffee cup from Cheek Blossom Prints. Um, the DAT Prep script sticker is also from Cayman Prince Co. And, yeah, so I'm just going on to Monday. I used the Square Box to just mark Coffee Monday. The girl in the robe and holding a coffee cup is from Fox and Pip, and the Coffee Monday script is from Ice Cream Joe. I then had a pretty rough night, like the night before, so my morning was pretty like all over the place. So I just used this like emoji from, and it's a foiled emoji from Murdoch Talks. So I just used that to mark that. I then had my class, and I used a half box as well as a laptop sticker from the Honey Bee Shop. Um, then I went to the ER because my neck was kind of like getting too bad at that point. I wasn't like aware that I had torn a ligament at that point, <laughs> but um, I was like in a lot of pain and I just felt like I couldn't wait any longer. So I went to the ER to get it checked out and yeah, I apparently had a torn ligament. <laughs> and then on Tuesday, I just woke up super early and I was really, really tired because the pain medication they gave me had made me super, super sleepy. I just used this girl, um, again, in a robe holding the mug from um, the Smush Peach. And then that day, um, me and my boyfriend and his mom went, and his sister actually went for breakfast. But um, before we did go, his mom and my boyfriend, what? My boyfriend and his mom <laughs> um, voted. So I just used a girl from uh, the Fox and Cactus to mark that. I then had a Zoom session with my microbiology lab professor, and she's super, super nice. I really enjoyed that, so I definitely wanted to mark that. Um, I then use the Zoom sticker is from Lux Kitty uh, Designs, and it's hollow foiled. And then I wanted to mark my doctor's appointment, and I use this Mar the Marshmallow in a scrub from Paper and Milk. Wednesday went by super, super fast. Um, if anything, if you guys have any questions about any of the stickers I use, please let me know. Um, my last video, I think my, like, the length of each clip was, like, speeded to, like, speeded? Is that a word? Sped up to four times four, and this time I decided to keep it as, like, times two, and it's still, like, a little too fast for me. <laughs> anyway... I'm going on to the other half of the week, and again, this was filmed on a separate piece of separate piece of day, separate day. Sorry, I don't know why I cannot talk. This is like why I don't do public speaking because I literally cannot say one sentence without either mumbling or doing something wrong with it. Um, but anyway, I'm just putting down the glitter headers and then these full boxes on the weekend, and then I'm gonna use the weekend banner which I think is super, super cute. This kit really does have a very light um, bullet journal vibe. And I don't know, I just felt very, very like fluffy. I don't know if that makes sense, but this kit is just giving me light, fluffy vibes. If you are definitely in a place where you don't really have like intense fall weather, you probably would love this because it is just so, it's like cozy, but bright at the same time. I don't know like if anything I say makes sense, but I really really like how the spread turned out. Um, one thing I will say, if you are like me and you lift up your stickers a lot, um, I did find that the ink cracked a bit um, and you know, I don't like that's probably just me because I I'm pretty rough with like picking my stickers up like I use my nails and I like I'm not gentle with it at all so I guess maybe if you used undo it wouldn't be as bad but yeah on Thursday I just used a quarter box and this girl from Kina Prince as well as a script from Ice Cream Joe and it just says coffee every day 
and I just used that to mark that I was pretty grumpy that morning. I don't know why. I'm like, I'm not not a morning person. I'm just like, if I don't have enough sleep or if I don't have a good enough sleep, I am grumpy the next day. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I then had my neuro quiz and I just used a third box and a laptop, laptop icon from the kit to mark that. And then my doctor did recommend I do um, a few stretches just because he wanted to see like to what extent I could like stretch my neck out. Um, and then I just put a to-do, I replaced the glitter header and put a to-do header. And as you can see, because I lifted it up a couple of times, um, the ink did crack quite a bit. Um, and I just put down a full box checklist. And then on Friday, I used like a half box washi strip thingy and just marked that I wanted to sleep in. The um, marshmallow sleeping on the pillow is from Paper and Milk and the sleep and script sticker is from Ice Cream Joe. I then used a Bay Max uh, laptop sticker from C. Amy Draw just to mark that I had my Arabic class. I then filled my to-do list for that day and then for the weekend I just put down two to-do list headers and then or to-do headers and then just put a full box checklist as well as a um, heart checklist on those days because I honestly didn't have much planned for the weekend or I don't have much planned for the weekend so I just really wanted to mark a few things so for Saturday I just wanted to mark that I wanted to wake up early and study and I also wanted to budget the girl sleeping on her desk with a stack of books is from Paper Secret Inks and then the money icon is from um, I believe it's either Murdoch Talks or SPC I cannot remember and then I just wrote girls night but I don't think I'm gonna be doing that today um, no, I don't think I'm going to be doing that tomorrow because today is Friday, tomorrow is Saturday. I don't know days apparently anymore either. Um, and then while I was going through the sheets, I noticed that there were a bunch of cute icons that I didn't use. And they were really small, so I just felt they were perfect to put next to the um, like to-dos just to you know give that extra like touch to the kit. And then on Saturday, I wanted to mark that I wanted to sleep in. I used a half box and a girl sleeping from... Little star plans. I then wanted to mark that I wanted to put on a face mask as well as a hair mask. The face mask grip sticker is from Ice Cream Joe, and I just wrote hair mask. The girl with like a hair mask and a face mask. I don't know if she has a hair mask on, but um, her hair is up. <laughs> um, is from Happy Diet, and now I'm just filling up my to do list. And yeah, this is mostly what my plan with me's tend to look like, just because of the fact that they're more consistent of to-do lists. Um, the first couple of days were like post planning so that's why there weren't any like major to-do lists or they weren't any to-do lists at all but yeah um, anyway please don't forget that if you check out this shop you can use code MIA for 15% off and I have plenty of stickers left probably to make another spread maybe even two I don't know you can get creative Anyway, if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!